We are now joined by SNY Mets analyst Todd, uh, SNY Mets analyst Todd Zeal. A little tongue-tied there, all right. Uh, Tyler McGill, the star of this one, Todd. Six scoreless innings, nine strikeouts, retired the last 16 batters he faced, just dominant. What was the difference for him in this start as opposed to the last time out against Boston? Well, I think last time out, um, he didn't have as great an effectiveness with the two-seamer, but um, the previous start against the White Sox, he really used the two-seam fastball effectively, and it's something that he said when he got called back up, up here that it was something that he had been working on was to be able to utilize that uh, sinker and use the sinker to get a ahead and count to get soft contact to get early outs to allow him to get deeper into games and it's something that you heard him uh, talk about even after the game today on our show about how well he was able to command that two seamer get the soft contact and get him deeper into games and when the guys were not putting it in play and he wasn't using like, utilizing the defense he was getting ahead and then at made it open up uh, some possibilities for the off-speed stuff. The slider was good. The split was good. But it all, to me, started with that two-seam fastball. Obviously, a great start for him, and the Mets love to see it. All right, my ears perked up when I heard you on Mets postgame saying, the luck of the Irish. Take us inside the clubhouse. You're in a playoff push. Every win counts the same, and you get a win where you score two runs to take the lead thanks to a throwing error, a wild pitch, and a pass ball. Are you thinking this is one you got away with? We're living a charmed life. This is our year. What's the reaction like? And, and I apologize to that little stab in the heart there with the luck of the Irish because it wasn't quite as lucky for you over the weekend. But having said that, um, what you saw with this Mets team today was that winning teams sometimes find ways to win. Sometimes better to be a little lucky than good. And they got an advantage. They got a, an infield hit. They did a good job of keeping pressure on. And I talked about the reads that I thought were impressive along with the wild pitch that was just a spiked curveball. And then the swing and a miss, pass ball, both of those result in run Runners coming home. Both of those are good reads by not uh, only Tyrone Taylor, uh, but Alvarez as well. Being able to get those reads, stay aggressive, get to the uh, they get to the plate. And aggressive teams and winning teams find that, you know, you don't play careful. You play aggressively. You play with confidence. And that's the way they played this game. Only three hits on the day, but the three hits produced three runs and enough for a win. Mets get the win. Notre Dame did not. Now I have to reset the 24-hour misery rule. Todd, right, look at the you. Irish maybe next week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was kind of over it. Never. All right, David Peterson goes to the Hill Tuesday against former Met Chris Bassett on Tuesday. Todd, thanks for joining us here on Honda Sports. Thanks, Sam.